We left the Jumo Opera Hotel and said goodbye to our view of the magnificent Manaus Opera House. This was built in the late 1800s with materials imported from all over Europe. But it was time to travel further west along the Amazon River to Manacapuru, where we would stay for the next four nights at the Sirendera Bella Amazon cabins. This is the middle of the jungle. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> A glass house. Yeah. I never would have thought I could have accommodations this beautiful in the middle of the jungle. Three sides of this room were floor-to-ceiling windows with views of the Amazon rainforest. There were balconies in the front and back, and the front balcony overlooked a private area with a little beach next to the running stream. It's very, very early in the morning. It's still dark out, but we're going to go out to a place to find a fiery topaz hummingbird that supposedly comes to the same place every morning, right at sunrise. I was so excited. The fiery topaz hummingbird came right here in front of us and we got pictures and video for you. God, this is the most beautiful bird I've ever seen. The fiery topaz is a large, incredibly beautiful hummingbird found in Brazil, Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. It looks very similar to the crimson topaz, and it used to be a subspecies, but they're now considered to be separate species, and there's little to no overlap in their range. The male has a large red body, a black head, and a throat patch that shines green and yellow. It has two long black tail feathers that cross. Sirendera Bella is one place where you're almost guaranteed to find the bird as long as you get up early enough. The fiery topaz regularly visits one area by the stream every morning at daybreak. So William Oriana and I were up in position each morning while it was still dark. We got pictures and video the first two days, but by the third day we pretty much knew their routine. William observed that there were no really good perches over by the area where one male would always go, so he decided to get in the water and cross the stream to set up a good perch in the area where one male usually hung out. He also set up one of our cameras to overlook the perch. I think we got excellent videos from this bird. <laughs> 